few days before uh, the World Under 20 in Peru. In terms of preparation, how is the team and maybe today you visited them, uh, what kind of support are you giving them? Yeah, uh, we are getting closer to the championship, which starts on the 25th. We, the preparation has been going on, but the camp was open uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, the training with the coaches and the athletes is uh, pretty good. We are trying to give them as much support as possible to ensure that they have proper training. Uh, today we have to give them uh, new spikes so that they can try to, to utilize those spikes as they, uh, they, as they prepare. Uh, so that they are used to that. So I believe that uh, we have a, a good team that will uh, at least do well uh, during the 120 championship in the room. Of course, uh, the, the youths are your product basically, and we've seen uh, that the ones who have delivered in Paris so far, uh, unlike uh, maybe not that they've done badly, but they've done uh, better than uh, seasoned athletes. Uh, does it mean that uh, we are on the right track in terms of uh, the youth development? Uh, absolutely. If you if you look at the, the athletes that have won uh, medals, we we saw Paige um, Rotich, is a product of this program that we have had. We went together to uh, Cali, and she won the, the 3,000 meters triple chase uh, under 20. We have Wanyoni, also a product of the programs that we have been having in Cap Sunday that we at least Kenya through the support of the government. Uh, I've been giving them uh, whatever support is necessary, financial support for, for the camps during the holidays. Uh, we have Mora, who is the first one to actually in this program, really the medal. And, uh, and, and you have seen the kind of performance there. So it shows that uh, at least Kenya has done a commendable job in uh, ensuring that these camps are uh, supported by the government of Kenya. And uh, with the schools, uh, primary and the country, uh, we have the partnership with the Ministry of Education so that the coaches who are teachers in schools can also be trained through uh, athletic programs to ensure that they continue uh, supporting those athletes. The uh, Ministry of Education, they have a uh, curriculum for sports also, they are doing that. And then from there now we work together very closely. When the schools are closed, it's when now we have a partnership uh, with those institutions to have our athletes training there. So we don't need a lot of money to run the program. We can only provide uh, for food and accommodation, and then of course now the coaches and those uh, are disabled personnel during those camps. So it does not cost a lot of money as it should be if you go for the normal camps, which costs a lot of money. This one are the structures that are existing, and uh, at least Kenya can utilize that, and if that can continue, then we can kill two parts with one stone, ensuring that the young artists continue their education at the same time focusing uh, focusing on uh, athletics. And the two as well very closely. We have uh, one of the artists also now traveling uh, to go to university. We have had quite a number of them who have trained universities in the U.S. And we encourage also the local universities to provide those uh, uh, scholarships so that our athletes can not only think about running, but they can think about the education that will also open their minds to other in their life. Uh, speak up about uh, Paris Olympics. Uh, what lesson have you learned so far, and maybe what are some of the areas that need improvement from the manage management uh, level? Uh, of course, you, in every championship, you learn uh, you learn something new. Uh, the dynamics in athletics are completely changed. We have seen the countries that have not been performing well, doing uh, extremely well. We have now the Europeans are almost dominating in the 1500 meters coming on board on the 5,000, both men and women, and they are doing well. Americans are also coming on board. But it shows you now that uh, the resources that is required basically is to focus on those talented athletes, say that uh, they have enough facilities for training, they have coaches who are also trained, and they have uh, resources. If you see the Americans now, they are running so well, not because of anything else, but because the government put money for their training. What we are having now is um, is only the spot, you know. When it comes to the Olympics, uh, the last six months we try now to make sure that they train. It cannot work. We need to have structures that can assist athletes training for at least a minimum of three years towards now the championship. Concerning even the world championship next year, we should have had now structures or institutions that will be taking care of those athletes who might be making the team for next year uh, to the world championship so that they can start training. 
The most, the most difficult thing, of course, is the number of athletes we have in this country. We have thousands of athletes. And sometimes it's very difficult to gather for everyone. It's not like, even at Ethiopia, they don't have the number of athletes like we do in Kenya. And they can focus on the few. As we have masses of athletes for running road races, and then the problem they face economically uh, forces them uh, to run in the road races. Areas where these young athletes who can focus only on the track and field, uh, they don't have enough resources to sustain them. So eventually, because the money is in the road races, you find them now going to the road races so that they can earn a living. So as a country, we have to look at it, how can we sustain those athletes so that they can go and go uh, the races that earn money and prepare for track and field. Mm -hmm. So uh, lastly, when is the team likely to travel the under-20? Uh, the team is traveling uh, from the second of this month. How optimistic are you? I'm always very optimistic because I believe in our athletes. And I see a Kenyan athlete, that one I always believe that they're going to do it. There's no way I can ever be optimistic because the determination and the focus from what is sometimes beyond uh, any other country. Any other Thank you so much.